Seattle City Light recently spilled several million cubic feet of water from Diablo Dam. It's the kind of flow you rarely see here in the North Cascades, and there was a reason for it. Here at Statattle Creek, which lies at the edge of City Light's company town of Diablo, a big slide and a lot of flooding created a very rocky problem for the utility. When we had a flood event last March, there was a particularly large uh, uh, jump in the, fl in the level of the, of the Skagit here. And the result of that was that the increased level here at Statattle Creek backed up all the way to the powerhouse. Over time, huge amounts of rock flushed out of Statattle Creek and into the Skagit, forming a gravel bar that raised the level of the river. Not fixing the problem could cost City Light ratepayers a lot of money because the rock slide isn't allowing Diablo Powerhouse to operate at peak efficiency and could cause flooding issues in the town of Diablo. Uh, ultimately, we lose generation capacity. We're losing about 1% of our ability to generate a Di Di Diablo powerhouse, uh, something in the order of $300,000 per year in generation that we're losing because of the raised elevation of the tail race. City Light decided to try and solve the problem naturally. Let loose a whole lot of water to wash the rock piles further downstream. It isn't easy to do. While three automatic gates can be controlled remotely from the system control center, this specially designed mule must manually raise a number of the spill gates. Finally, the butterfly valves are opened, and once done, the dam looks completely different. A long, frothing wall of white water tumbling into the canyon below and quickly raising the level of the Skagit River. Seattle City Light was spilling up to 33,000 cubic feet per second, something that hasn't been done at the Diablo Dam since the floods of 2003. That's more than six times the average amount of water spilled from Diablo Dam. We've got ideal conditions right now. We've got the water. Uh, you know, most times a year you wouldn't have this much water to work with, but we'd be spilling anyhow, so we're getting free water, as they say. The extra water also ends up in the reservoir of Gorge Dam, which can then be used for power generation at the Gorge Powerhouse further downriver. And the opening of these gates also satisfied Federal Energy Regulatory Commission requirements that have to be conducted yearly anyway. But the water can only be raised so far to help flush these rocks downstream to deeper water. That's because the old sewage treatment plant here in the little town of Diablo sits low and is subject to flooding. The problem is we have some leaky sewage pipes and when the level of the river comes up, it brings the groundwater level up which uh, comes over the top of the sewage pipes. That water goes into the pipes, they get pumped to the plant, we get an overload of the plant. So basically it was the flow at the sewage treatment plant that was controlling when we had to stop. City Light crews spilled large flows of water from Diablo Dam over the course of two days, and the plan seems to be working. The gravel and rock pile that raised the river by two feet at the powerhouse was lowered enough to bring the river back down by a foot and a half. That translates into savings for ratepayers of about $150,000 per year. With the rare bonus of a whitewater show, seldom seen here in the North Cascades.